Well, today is September 30th, 2021. It's the first National Day of Truth and Reconciliation for Canada. And uh, as many of you know, in May of 2021, the first unmarked graves of children that had attended residential schools were found, uh, 215 as my shirt says. Since then, it's over 1,300 and possibly 4,000 by the time uh, all are found, these unmarked graves. And I have with me today Cable Adam. Cable Adam is one of the service techs here at EPIC. And Cable was born in the Northwest Territories in Anuvik. He was raised in Tuktiuktuk. Yes, that is a real place. Uh, and uh, he is part of the Inuit people. He's part of the Indigenous peoples. And so we asked if he would share some of his story with us today. And he was gracious enough to say yes. So, Cable, tell us a little bit about how you ended up at a residential school. I ended up in residential school to uh, get my high school graduation. And in order to get that, I had to move away from home from Tuktiakta to Inuvik and attend a residential school there. And so if, you, if I understand right, you attended from 1992 to 95 and then residential schools were closed for good in 1997. So you were some of the last to attend that school. What was, what was your experience like of a residential school? The experience I had there was like going to an army and having a structured setting for uh, the children that went to the residential school at the time. And our traditional knowledge and everything was not taught there. And we had to attend every, our schooling every, every day. So it was very regimented compared to what you were used to. And it, it, if I understand right, it didn't bring forward your traditional ways, learning to live off the land. It was teaching a very different way. Yes, it was um, the, yeah, it was all taught like language arts and, and social studies and, right. and English and in order to to thrive in this society that we have now, it, it, that's kind of what you had to mm. become one. So we now have this day called Truth and Reconciliation Day. What, you know, as an Indigenous person, as a, an Inuit what person, what would you want us who are not to, to hear? What would you hope for from a day like today? To have that conversation with, with the non-Indigenous people and have that dialogue of what happened uh, through the tragedies of, of residential schools and basically just to have those conversations with, with, uh, with the non-Indigenous people. You and I have talked before and you've mentioned that you know one of the important things for you is that the story of the Indigenous people, the story of the Inuit people doesn't get forgotten. Is that also part of what you hope for in a day like today? Yeah, and we just don't want to, to be forgotten and, and put under a rug or mostly just have those conversations with each other and understand of what happened in the residential schools. Yeah, because we know there was great tragedy. We know there was this hidden secrecy. And so your hope, as is others, is that we tell the truth because reconciliation can't happen until the truth is told. Yes. And so thank you, Cable, for being here today. I know you're feeling a little uncomfortable behind the camera, but you did great. And thank you for being willing to share with the rest of our employees here, the rest of our team, your story, because it's important to us. Yes. So thank you. Thank you.